Okay, so I'm going to continue with the capital budgeting topic. Uh, basically, in this topic, we will be discussing internal rate of return. We will discuss the concept, how is it calculated, what are the rules, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of using this method. We will also compare it with the NTV uh, method. Also, we will discuss what is multiple IRR and um, understand and evaluate the investment projects involving multiple IRR. So internal rate of return is the rate of return at which the net present value is zero. It is the rate of return discount rate that forces the present value of the cash flows to equate the initial investment of the project. IRR can be calculated by solving the following equation where NPV is zero. So we're going to solve it. I'm going to show you what does the previous two statement mean. So NPV is equals to present value of inflows <coughs> minus initial output. Basically, this is the NPV formula and this is the point where your NPV is zero. So this is negative, you can shift it on the other side, it will become positive. Your initial output is equals to the present value of inflows. So this is that point where the initial investment will equal the present value of the inflows due to which your NPV will be zero. So basically you need to find out that rate where the present value of inflows will equal to your initial investment. This is what they're telling you in the behind as well. Now these are the decision rules. We'll come back to it later. <coughs> okay, so this is the internal rate of return. Normally it is complex to solve the last equation to calculate IRR. It can be done in scientific calculator or Excel spreadsheet easily. IR, we can calculate the, an approximate IR. So it won't be an exact value, but you can move the approximate rate by trial and error method as follows. So here is the formula for this, where R1 and R2. So either here we have R1 and R2 are randomly selected discount rates. So you will just select two different interest rates. And you will calculate the NPV values at those interest rates. So you will get NPV1 at one rate and NPV2 at the other rate. NPV1 should be the higher net present value and NPV2 should be the lower net present value. So we'll go through an example in order to understand how we will use this formula. So here is an example, our company is interested in a project that has initial investment of 588,000 will generate following cash inflows. So the following cash inflows, I'll draw the timeline over here because it's not coming. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 5, 88,000 is the initial investment and this will bring a cash inflow at the year 1 of 130,000 then year 2 145,000 151,000 and 419,000 so these are the cash inflows and this is given to you in the question now if a company decides to invest in this project needs to generate the funds for the project at the cost of capital 12% so we'll come back to this later what are we supposed to do with this calculate the IRR and decide on investment decision so like already discussed IRR is that point where your NPV is zero so now in order to do that you're going to select randomly two interest rates so the cost of capital is 12%. So I'm going to select a rate which is lower than that, 10%. And then I'm going to select another rate which is 15%. So now I need to 
calculate what is the NPV at this rate and what is the NPV at this rate. So the NPV formula is present value of inflows minus the initial outflows. So how do you calculate the present value of inflows? Simply discount this back. So 130,000 and we'll need more space. Okay, so over here we have, uh, I'm going to start it from here, so I have more space, so 130,000, 1 plus, now the rate we are assuming is 10%, so 0 0.1, power will be 1 because this is coming back 1 year, plus second cash flow 145,000. 1 plus 0 0.1 and power will be 2. <coughs> We're simply calculating the present values over here. So from this we will get the present value of inflows. Now you need to subtract the initial outlay from this. So the initial outlay was 588,000. So if you solve this, your answer is coming. So your answer is coming over here. 637648. This is the present value of inflows. This is this bracket solved. Minus 5. 88,000 so the NPV is uh, 49,648 so this is your NPV at the 10% rate now similarly you're going to calculate it once again but this time at the 15% rate so if we calculate for the 15% rate and to erase this Okay, so now we're going to calculate at the 15% rate. So I'm going to replace the rates by 15%. This is one, okay. So again, I'm going to calculate the present value of inflows and this time the answer is coming. Five, six, one five three four so this is the present value of inflows and based on this the NPV at this rate is coming to be negative two six four six six okay so this is the NPV at the 15 percent rate so you have the NPV at the 10 percent rate and at the 15 percent rate these are two randomly selected interest rates aapne bhi jis tarike se do randomly select karne hai it is better ki jo aapko cost of capital given hai usse ek kam aur ek zyada interest rate lo to 12 percent se ek kam liya hai 10 percent aur ek zyada liya hai 15 percent fir dono pe bari bari unka NPV Calculate for here. Now you can use out the approximation formula. So now we're going to use this. I need space, so I'm going to erase this. So erase all. So the approximation formula first, let's write that down. It is IRR is equals to R1 plus NPV. 1 multiplied by so this is star over here multiplied by 2 minus r1 and bracket close and this is divided by npv1 minus npv2 where npv1 was the higher net present value and npv2 was the lower net present value so now let's plug in the values <coughs> At the 10% rate, we had an NPV of 
फोर नाइन सिक्स फोर एट एंड एट दी फिफ्टीन परसेंट वी हैड एन एन पी वी ऑफ नेगेटिव टू सिक्स फोर सिक्स सिक्स ओके सो आर वन विल बी टेन परसेंट बिकॉज एन पी वी वन इज द हायर इंटरेस्ट रेट एन पी वी टू इज द लोअर वन सो एन पी वी वन से एसोसिएटेड रेट क्या है टेन परसेंट का सो आर वन इज टेन परसेंट plus NPV1 which is 49648 and multiply this by the difference between them so R2 minus R1 so 15% minus 10% <coughs> okay sorry there was no bracket over here wait okay so I have corrected the mistake we have the denominator over here okay we have NPV 1 over here once again so that is 49648 and minus so minus into minus will become positive so I'm going to write minus over here so there is no confusion it's 26466 Two six four six six. Okay, it's become tick. I don't know why. Mm, so this will be ten percent plus three point two six percent. So thirteen point two six percent is the approximate internal rate of return. <coughs> And basically, internal rate of return is like the YTM you studied in bond valuation. YTM in bond valuation tells you the total return that an investor will hold uh, will get if he holds a bond till maturity. So internal rate of return is also telling you the total return that you will get from this project given all of the cash flows. So internal rate of return बताता है कि total return आपका क्या होगा in the form of percentage and If you would have worked this using an Excel IRR function, so you would have gotten an exact value of thirteen point one five percent. So this is the actual internal rate of return, and your approximation is giving you an answer of thirteen point two six percent. So it's close enough. Okay. Okay. So how do we decide whether this company should do this project or not? The thing is that this cost of capital. Now we're going to come on this. So your cost of capital and internal rate of return. You need to make a comparison. If the internal rate of return is greater than or equal to the cost of capital, you can accept that project. बेसिकली कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल इज के जो इस प्रोजेक्ट को करने के लिए आपको फाइव एटी एट थाउजेंड की इन्वेस्टमेंट चाहिए इस पैसे को रेज करने की जो कॉस्ट है सो अगर आपने फाइव एटी एट थाउजेंड लोन के थ्रू रेज किया है तो ये इंटरेस्ट की कॉस्ट होगी अगर आपने लोन प्रेफर्ड स्टॉक और कॉमन स्टॉक के थ्रू इशू किया है तो फिर इंटरेस्ट की कॉस्ट और डिविडेंड की कॉस्ट और कैपिटल गेन की ये कॉस्ट है सो इट्स द कॉस्ट ऑफ रेजिंग दिस फाइव एटी एट थाउजेंड ये प्रोजेक्ट के पैसे जो आपने लगाए हैं उसकी कॉस्ट है वे कंपेयरिंग दिस टू दी रिटर्न दैट यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम दी प्रोजेक्ट इंटरनल रेट ऑफ रिटर्न बताता है टोटल रिटर्न जो आपको प्रोजेक्ट से मिल रहा है सो अगर टोटल रिटर्न ज़्यादा है जो कि आपने एस्टिमेट किया है थर्टीन पॉइंट टू सिक्स और कॉस्ट कम है which is 12 percent then you can accept the project so this is the case of independent abhum ek aur example karenge in the next video